This is 7 News at 4 on the news station. But prosecutors say two men and a woman were making false accusations, hoping to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in a settlement. Today, they faced a judge. 7 News reporter Mike Macklin is live in Boston with that story. Mike? Well, Lester, the three defendants include a mother and a son. Now, they never got a dime, but prosecutors say they submitted phony claims, one of them for up to $850,000, claiming they were sexually abused by a notorious Catholic priest. Prosecutors charged 35-year-old Sean Murphy of Lynn and 41-year-old Byron Worth of Ashburnham were both prison inmates when they allegedly hatched the scheme to defraud the Catholic Archdiocese of Boston. Not guilty. Both men are charged with making bogus claims of sexual abuse against John Gagan, the defrocked Catholic priest accused of molesting scores of victims during his 30-year career as a priest at five different Catholic parishes. Not guilty. That's, I think, part of what we think, why we're taking this as, as a serious crime. There are um, purportedly a lot of alleged victims of child abuse out there, and these defendants took advantage of that information, and public information about certain victims and, the, and their circumstances, and tried to turn it for their own personal financial gain. Murphy's mother, Sylvia Murphy, is charged with forging school records to show her family lived in Boston's Forest Hills neighborhood, where Gagan was a pastor 20 years ago. When I first heard about this, I was stunned, and then I was angry. Phil Saviano was a victim of sexual abuse by a Catholic priest. He now heads up a support network for other victims. For legitimate victims who suffered when they were kids and then agonized as adults trying to figure out how am I ever going to come forward with this story and, and, and tell something like this in, in the news media, it's a real slap in the face. Sean Murphy has a lengthy criminal record. As for Byron Worth, he's in prison now on assault charges. He was in prison once before when he was accused and convicted of raping a child. We're live in Boston, Mike Macklin, 7 News. You are watching WBZ4 News on Boston's television station. Mother and son conspired to file false charges of sexual abuse against a priest. WBZ's Bill Shields was there when they faced a judge. Bill? Joe, you know, in recent years, the Catholic Church has had its share of troubles of people alleging sexual misconduct by the priests. Now, police say a mother and her son from Lynn say that the church in back of me was a scene of sexual misconduct. Police say they were simply trying to take advantage of the church's troubles. <laughs> 57-year-old Sylvia Murphy wore a hairpiece and sunglasses. Her son, Sean, stood by her side and confidently answered the charges. Charging an attempt to commit the crime of larceny exceeding $250, two counts. Not guilty. Investigators say it was this mother and son who hatched a scheme to extort nearly a million dollars from the Archdiocese of Boston. Claims allege that he and his brother were abused as children and demanded settlement in the amount of $850,000. The Murphys claim that Sean attended St. Andrew's Church here in Forest Hills when he was a boy. While there was sexually assaulted by this priest, Father John Gagnon. Just last year, Gagnon was defrocked by the Catholic Church after dozens of alleged victims came forward. But investigators say Murphy was not one of those victims. The Commonwealth's evidence will demonstrate that the Murphys lived in Lynn at the time of the alleged abuse and not in the community in which the, the alleged abuse was to have occurred. When I first heard about it, I was stunned, and very quickly I became very angry. As a boy, Phil Saviano was assaulted by a different priest in Worcester County. He cannot fathom that the Murphys would allegedly take advantage of other people's emotional turmoil. These guys to make up a claim like this and for the mother to go along with it, it's really an insult to legitimate victims who suffered as kids and then were traumatized again trying to decide whether to come public as adults back live now at St. Andrew's Church. According to police, Murphy actually, Murphy actually recruited a third person in this whole scheme while he was in prison out in Shirley. That person was also arraigned today. As for Murphy's record, the magistrate said it was eight feet long in terms of paperwork. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ 4 News. Listen, Joe. Okay. News at 10. Fraud charges tonight. Prosecutors say they tried to scam the Catholic Church out of more than $800,000. As Fox 25's Debbie Kim shows us, the two men are accused of making up claims they were molested by a former priest. Do you have anything to say, Mr. I have nothing to say at this nothing time. Thank you. 
Byron Worth and Sean Murphy are charged with filing a false claim with the Archdiocese of Boston, seeking $850,000. Prosecutors say the two men came up with the scheme while they were in prison together. They claim that they were sexually abused by a former priest, John Gagan, while he was the pastor of St. Andrew's Church in Jamaica Plain. Gagan is accused of molesting dozens of children at five Boston area churches. There are um, purportedly a lot of alleged victims of child abuse out there, and these defendants took advantage of that information, uh, public information about certain victims well, and, and their circumstances, and tried to turn it for their own personal financial gain. Prosecutors say Murphy convinced his own mother, Sylvia, to forge school records to make it look like they lived in the parish. But when state police began investigating the claim, they discovered that Murphy and Worth had never lived in this parish and had never attended St. Andrew's Church. The charges have also outraged many Catholics. It's awful. I, I don't know why anyone would do that, why they would make it up. And that's awful. The Catholic Church is always under scrutiny. That's, that's it's just, I mean, it's bad for anybody to make up anything about anyone. In Boston, Debbie Kim, Fox 25 News. Byron Worth and Sean Murphy are both in jail tonight. Sylvia Murphy remains free because she has no prior criminal record.